you are, wherever you are, just bless his holy name. Yes, Lord, he's here. He's here right now. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in his presence. There he is in the midst of them. Can you get it? There he is in the midst of them. Thank you, oh God. Because you are here tonight. Father, we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the word of wisdom. Thank you for the world of knowledge, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of faith. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the gift of working of miracles. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of healing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of discernment of spirits, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of interpretation of tongues. For the gifts of diverse kinds of tongues, Lord, thank you for the gifts of prophecies. Thank you, God, for the manifestations of those gifts tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, we give you praise. As we look into your word, let it come with power. Let your people be blessed, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you said in your word, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous rush into it and is sick. Thank you, O God, because as your people grow up into your tower tonight, they shall be saved. In the name of Jesus.
Yeah. 
Yes, Lord. position of your word Lord I pray that in the name of Jesus let your people be blessed in ways they've never experienced before in the name of Jesus bless the people hold it grab your Bibles everyone grab your Bibles everyone yes Lord we're going to look into the word together right now Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For those who are in the sanctuary, amen. I would like for you to package your offering. Okay, before you go, make sure you, you drop your offerings. Amen. And for those who give online, go to the website www.lorwc.org. Again, that's www.lord and righteousness worship center. That's L O R W C. Dot org and you can give your offering there, you give your time, praise God, you can give as the Lord lays on your heart to be a blessing to this ministry. As you do that, your life will not remain the same again. Or you can go to www.johnbassett.org. That's www.johnbassett.org. Hallelujah. It's more pleasure to give than to receive. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. Amen. Let's be seated. Can we get it all? Mark get it all. Yes, Lord. So tonight, thank you. God bless you. Tonight, I'm going to be teaching on the things that you and I must do to be safe, especially in a time like this. The times we live in calls for us to take some appropriate actions so that our lives can be spared. You know, the enemy is not playing. The Bible says he has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Gospel according to John chapter 10, verse 10. So now we're going to be reading some scriptures, so let's get ready for that. The Bible says the enemy has the fifth coming not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come, however, so that you may have life. Amen. And not just have the life. So everybody has the life, but not everybody has the life in its abundance. Everybody does, they're not enjoying their life. Jesus said, I am come so that you may have life. And so that you may have the life in its abundance. In other words, there's a so so life. There's an ordinary life. Praise God. And there's an abundant life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that I'm coming that you may have life, and so that you may have the life in its abundance. You know, gospel according to John chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Now listen to this very carefully. You know, sometimes we read the Bible. And can, can I get the scriptures projected, please? John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. I want that to sink in for a second. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. So, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, And the Word was God. Hallelujah. And the Word was God. Can I go to the next verse, please? Let's make it quick, please. Hallelujah. And then it said, The same was in the beginning with God. 
Without him was nothing made that was made. Hallelujah. Come to neighbor. Without him was nothing made that was made. Without him was nothing made that was made. All things were made by him. Praise God. And without him was not anything made that was made. The next verse. In him was life. Hallelujah. And the life, praise God. Now watch this. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. I'm talking about abundant life. Amen. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. When you have an abundant life, you become the light of man. Anywhere you show up, wherever darkness is, when you show up there, there's brightness. Because you carry the life of God in you. And you become the light of man. And that's why your light cannot be put under a bushel. The light must give light to the city, praise God. Not just to your local place, praise God. It's got to give light to the city, to the, to the nation, to the whole world. In him was life, and the light was the light of men. There are men who are perishing today, praise God. There are people who are perishing today. They need the light of God. They need the people who are taking the life of God in themselves, praise God. Who have become the light of men. Abundant life. God didn't create you to die a social death, praise God. You have not been created to be shot by some crazy fellow, praise God. You have not been created to, be, to, to go to the movie center and then for someone to shoot everybody and then you are part of them. That's not what God has created you for. You have been made for more than this. Yes. In him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in darkness. And the Bible says darkness cannot comprehend it. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has tried to cover your light, may your light begin to shine forth. In the name of Jesus. The light was the, the light was the light of man. And the light shines in that. Can we go to the next verse? And the light shines in darkness. And darkness comprehended in not. The Bible says, He that is born of God, he that is born of the Spirit, praise God, is like the wind. No man knows from where he blows and to where he blows. He said, so are those that have been born of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Those who are calculating your next move, they will fail. In the name of Jesus. Those who are planning to get you down, they will fail. In the name of Jesus. Because God has endowed you with flavor, praise God. He has endowed you with splendor. He has called you Hepsiba, the delight of the Lord. Therefore, no one can dare touch you. In the name of Jesus. You know, these days that we live in, it's very crucial, praise God, for you and I to understand the times that we live in. These times are different from all the times. You know why? Because if you go to the movie center, if you go to a theater to watch the movie, you're not sure if you will come back home alive. Hallelujah. Let, 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 let me share this with you. This day and age, when you send your children to school, you're not sure if they will come back home alive. The times we live in, when you go shopping, you're not sure if you will come back alive from shopping. This day and age, when you go from one point to another, whether in America, whether in Africa, you're not sure if you will make it to your destination because of kidnappers on the highway. How can this be, Prescott? How can this be? The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came and so tired and went his way. May every enemy against your life, may they die before you. In the name of Jesus. We live in times where the Bible says, 
in the last days, let's look at First Timothy chapter 4. Let's put it go there right now. First Timothy chapter 4 or verse 1. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1. Now watch this now. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter times, in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith. So many people have departed from the faith. So many people put on religious front. It's just belief, religiosity. Okay? They don't have a relationship with God. They talk about him. Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've seen a lot of stupid demonstrations of fellowship, but no connection. Hey, hallelujah. They do all that based on no fellowship. That's why the Bible says, my people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship with their lips. Lip service, high service. Some people worship their pastors. Some people, they, they, don't, they don't know God. They don't have a fellowship with God. Who they know is their pastor. Is their pastor they know. They have no fellowship with God. From today, you must begin to fellowship with God. Your focus must be on your Father God. Hallelujah. Look at that. In the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Given heed to seduce his spirit and doctrines of devils. Doctrines of devils. Look at that. Verse 2. And then it says, speaking lies in hypocrisy. Pretentious people. Those who laugh in your face, behind your back, they say something else. Mischievous people, unscrupulous people. You are not one of them in Jesus' name. And you will never be one of them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. People who didn't know, who know you must. They don't care who you are. They carry God, shoot anybody they want. Amen. They do all kind of things they want. I pray in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. When you go out to go out with joy. When you return, you will return with joy. Every piece that God has not done for you. Anyone that digs a piece for you shall fall for your sake. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says they shall surely gather. Kidnappers shall surely gather. Shooters shall surely gather. He said they shall surely gather. He said, but not by me. They can gather all they want, but not by me. The Bible says, they that gather against you, they shall fall for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are setting trap for you, you will not fall into it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not fall into it. In the name of Jesus. You got to understand. You got to understand the times we live in. This is not one of those times you want to live a carnal life. Don't carnal your life into hell. Don't carnal your life and go to Walmart and get shot. Press God. Don't carnal your life and go to some movie theater. Press God and get shot. Don't carnal your way and go, and go places where God has not sent you and get shot. This is one of those times that the Bible says the, 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 you either must worship God, must worship God in spirit and in truth. This is the time you gotta worship God in spirit and in truth so that He can speak His mind to you always. The Bible says that you shall hear a voice behind you telling you which way you should go, either to the left or to the right. Press God. It's one of those times your walk with God must be real. Your walk with God must be real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your walk with God must be real. We live in times where the evil, evil is trying to prevail against the truth. But guess what? The Bible says, they who that are called by the name of God, they shall always be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
The Bible also says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is safe. Your safety is in God. Hallelujah, your safety is in God. So my people, I'd like to let you know that it's very important for you to stop living a kind of life. Step out of carnality. Step out of carnality. You need to start building fellowship. Start building intimacy with God through His Spirit. Hallelujah. You need to begin to hear the Holy Spirit. You need to begin to receive instructions from the Holy Spirit. You need to begin to know when the Holy Spirit tells you to go someplace and when the Holy Spirit tells you not to go. We live in such times where you, you need to be totally dependent on the Holy Spirit. You need to be totally dependent so that your life will not be cut short. Total dependency on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will tell you if you should go to the movie theater or not. Praise God. Holy Spirit will tell you if you should go to that club or not. Praise God. Holy Spirit will tell you if you should take that travel. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. You need the Holy Spirit more than ever before. Praise God. Holy Spirit will tell you when you should send your children to public school and when you should not. Holy Spirit will tell you when to tell your children, no, no school for you today. You cannot waste your life. Jesus said, I've come so that you may have life. And have the life abundantly. Abundant life. Rich life. Prosperous life. Amen. But to live such life, you have to have fellowship with God. Hallelujah. You got to have a good fellowship. When I say fellowship, I'm not saying high service now. Like some people do. I'm not saying high service to please some pastor. Praise God. Honor your pastors. But you gotta know where they belong. You gotta know where God belongs. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You gotta know where God belongs. You gotta know where your pastors belong. Some of you, you need to reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your walk with God. Your focus should be on God. Hallelujah. Your focus should be on God. Building a relationship with God. It should be about God. Amen. Having a personal time of study of the word and not forsaking the church, not forsaking the household, household of faith, of course. But having a personal fellowship with God. Being able to hear from the Holy Spirit. And that's why it's very crucial for every one of us, hallelujah, to spend more time in fellowship with God through the studying of His Word. Every one of us, we must find time to study His Word. We must learn to receive from the Spirit of God. Hallelujah, we live in such time. We live in such time. Don't waste your life. Don't get carried away by the affairs of by the activities of this world where you don't pay attention any longer to the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Your life should not be cut short. Because of your lack of you know your your lack of ability to hear from the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is free of charge for you, for as many as are called by the name of the Lord. Amen. He will give them the Spirit. His Spirit. Praise God. Let's turn our Bible stand to the book of St. John. Every word that must leave and not die, praise God. You must be able to fellowship with the Spirit of the Lord. Let's turn about us now to the book of St. John. Hallelujah, chapter 14. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14. And we're going to take it from verse 15. Trying to give you some tips that will help you stay alive. You've got to know God and you've got to fellowship with Him. Praise God. You've got to know God for yourself and you've got to fellowship with Him. And then, then you have to be able to hear from Him by His Spirit. Hallelujah, by His Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the one who, is, who will minister to you when to go shopping and when not to go shopping. 
The Holy Spirit is the one who will minister to you. Praise God. When to send your children to school, when they want to take them out of the school system. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is, is the one who's going to tell you what movie to, you know, movie theater to go to. Praise God. Because the evil is not playing now. I mean, they're everywhere. You gotta be smart. You gotta have God on your side. You gotta be able to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 14, verse 15. Let's read this together. Let's go. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Now, let me let you know this. The commandments of God cannot be kept by your own power. Hallelujah. The commandments of God can be done by your own power. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. That's why, that's why in, I believe, uh, somewhere in the OCS says, it's not by power, not by mind, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why you and I, we cannot, we cannot perish for lack of knowledge. That's why this knowledge is being dispersed to us. Okay, this knowledge is being given to us to understand, so that we can apply it. Amen. And by applying it, we, we are manifesting the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. If you love me, keep my commandments. To keep his commandment is to have the Spirit of God in you. It's the Spirit of God who guides you to all truth. It guides you to know to knowing what to do and at the right time so that you can be getting the right result. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 16. It said, And I will pray. And I will pray the Father. And he shall give you another comforter. Hallelujah. I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter. Amen. What did God will say? What did mighty God will say? He shall give you another comforter. I'm going to give one another comforter. Put up your hands wherever you are. I want another comforter. Yes, Lord. Another comforter. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, John 14, 15. He says here, yes, if you love me, keep my commandments. And as verse 16 says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. That he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. So people of God, it's very important that you know God. And knowing God begins with you receiving the gifts of his salvation. Amen. Receive the gift of Jesus Christ. Amen. By saying, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again for my salvation. That's the step one. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the next step is for you to grab a Bible. Go to a bookstore. Grab a Bible. Begin to study the word of God. Be a power. Of God's family, praise God. Find a church near you and begin to grow. Hallelujah, begin to grow. Amen. And as you go to the church, as you fellowship with them, understand that your focus, your focus should be on God, not on the leaders. Your focus should not be on the leaders. Your focus should be on God. The leaders will guide you. The leaders will help you to grow. Again, your focus should never be on the leaders. Your focus should just be on God. But be receptive to correction, receive correction, receive mentorship for your leaders. The focus again should never be on your leaders, focus should be on God. Hallelujah. And then you, you pray that the Spirit of God should come in, into you. Hallelujah. You pray that the Spirit of God come into you. And as the Spirit of God comes into you, even as you continue to fellowship with Him, the Spirit of God will begin to tell you what to do. The Spirit of God will minister to you. The Spirit of God will guide you in all things, praise God. It will show you which way to go. Hey, then sometimes you want to do some things, the Spirit of God will restrain you. I say, son, no, 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 don't do that. Sometimes you want to go do some things, the Spirit of God will mention to you, no, no, don't do that. The Spirit of God over time, for some people, some people still don't know how the Spirit of God speaks to them. Amen. The Spirit of God is like the voice of the conscience. But it's higher than the voice of the conscience. 
Every man on the face of this earth, every woman, they have what is called conscience. Whether you believe in God or whether you don't. Every man, every woman, boy or girl, everyone has a conscience. Praise God. But a good conscience can take you to heaven. Praise God. That to have a good conscience doesn't mean you have a good fellowship with God. Hey, if a good conscience can take you to heaven, it is your relationship with Jesus. Because the Bible says, For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. You cannot go to the Father. You cannot claim you have a relationship with the Father if you don't know the Son. It is the Son, Jesus Christ, who gives you access to the Father. And as you get access to the Father, He gives you His Spirit. Amen. When, when you have that Spirit, praise God, that Spirit is what I'm talking about. That Spirit is higher than the voice of your conscience. And that's what makes you different from the next person to you who only has a good or bad conscience. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God makes a difference. Hallelujah. And once you have the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God guides you into all things. The Spirit of God knows when there's danger in a place. The Spirit of God is what restrains you. He restrains you. It tells you, son, don't go there. Don't go there. Isaac was about to go to the place his father failed. God restrained him. Hallelujah. God said, stay in this land. It looked like the, 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 there is famine there, but I have a better plan. The, the power of God spoke to him and said, stay here. Don't go there where it looks like there's milk and honey. That's not where I'm sending you. Your father made a mistake. You should not make the mistake your father made. I want you to stay here. This is where I'm going to bless you. The Bible said that Isaac sold in the same land. And the Bible said in the same land, Isaac reaped hundredfold. It's a function of being able to hear from the Spirit of God. Spirit of God will help preserve your life. The Bible says, He that is born of the Spirit. He that is born of the Spirit. Watch this then. He that is born of the Spirit. The Bible says, It's like the wind. No man knows from where it blows and to where it blows because it's born of the Spirit. So is he who is born of the Spirit. When you are born of the Spirit, no one can shoot you. No one can kill you. Because the Spirit of God will lead you away from danger. Isaac was about to go away. Praise God. Isaac was about to go away. God said to him, No, son, don't go. Don't. Many of us, we need to hear God tell us, don't go, don't go there, Prescott. Don't, no, 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 no. That's not the time to go, Prescott. The Bible spoke of David. There was a time David wanted to pursue, to recover all. God said, go ahead and, and pursue. There was also a time God said, no, 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 no. Don't, this is not the time to go. You need the Spirit of God to guide you. You need the Spirit of God to restrain you when He has to. You need the Spirit of God to give you speed when He has to give you speed. Function of the Spirit of God. We have so many hypocrites. We have so many people that worship God with their lips. No relationship whatsoever. They only have relationship with their pastors. They only have relationship with their leaders. But they don't have relationship with God. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. They don't know how to hear from the Spirit of God, but they know how to hear from their pastor. Is that what Jesus has come to, to do for us? The Bible says that as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Can we say power? power? As many as received him, as many as received him, to them he gave power. He gave them power. Power means dunamis. Power to become the sons of God. On that power, can I prophesy over you right now? On that power I declare over you. Any evil pursue you, any evil pursue your spouse, any evil pursue your family, in the name of Jesus, they shall fall down and die. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the same Spirit who resurrected Jesus from the dead, I pray in that name, Jesus, that everything pursue you to kill you, 
anything pursue you to destroy you and your destiny. In the name of Jesus, they will die before you. Amen. So is he that is born of the Spirit. It's like the wind. No man knows from where it blows. Anyone trying to use mirror, anyone trying to use voodoo to watch your life, to, 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 to contain you, to, to ridicule you, amen, to put you in a box. In the name of Jesus, that mirror breaks in their eyes. In the name of Jesus, whatever eyes are using to look at you, the eyes go blind. Anyone who says you will not make it, they don't know you are born of the Spirit of God. Anyone who thinks you will not live a long life, they don't know you have the Spirit of God inside of you. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. 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 You know, the Spirit of God does so many things for you. The Spirit of God gives you joy. The Spirit of God gives you love. The Spirit of God gives you peace. It gives you peace of mind. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God gives you patience. The Spirit of God gives you endurance. It makes you meek. Spirit of God humbles you. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God gives you self-control, temperance. All of this, that's why they call them the fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. In the name of Jesus, I come against every appearance of fear in your life. In the name of Jesus, back to sender. Jesus, receive the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Spirit of boldness. Spirit of confidence. God said to Joshua, be bold. Be now courageous. Don't look at their faces. Anyone trying to intimidate you with their faces or their achievement or whatever, in the name of Jesus, today you rise above them. Let me share one more thing before I go tonight. Praise God. Let me share one more thing. The next thing you have to do to keep yourself safe. Hallelujah. You have to pray. Hallelujah. You have to be able to pray, not just one time. Hallelujah. You have to pray always. You have to pray always. You have to pray, be a praying machine. You live your life like you are living a life of prayer. Praise God. Your life is a life of prayer because it's a battle. It's a battle. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but, but against principalities, against powers. Against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness. In high places. Spiritual wickedness. Now watch this. I, I want you to pay attention to the hierarchies now. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against powers. Watch my hand movement. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against powers. Against spiritual wickedness. In high places. But I have some good news for you. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. By the anointing in that name. The Bible says, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord. Anyone against your life, they bow in the name of Jesus. Anyone that points a gun at you by the name of Jesus in your mouth, anyone who points
point a gun at you. As you say in Jesus' name, that gun will not work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says he surrounds us like, like Pharaoh as of a shield. As the sense of a shield. Those who are God according to his name. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 91, it said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It said, I will say of the Lord, It's my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers, and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Not for the arrow that fly by day, not for the pestilence that walk out in darkness, not for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand side. It shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. In the name of Jesus. Hey. hey. You know. In the book of Isaiah, I got to find out God saying that the weapons that these people use, God said, I made them. God said, the weapons they use, I created them. Then he said, therefore, no weapon. Because I created them, therefore, no weapon. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Because he created them. Therefore no weapon. No weapon of the devil formed against you. Formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Of things in heaven. Of things in the earth. Of things under the earth. No weapon formed against you shall Come on, rise on your feet. Rise on your feet, people of God. Get a body, get a body. Just bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. He's worthy. He's worthy. Can I have some instrumentals? Kalabadi, get a body. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Kaya gala gala basse gede de de bo. Mo luba kide de bo. Li gala basse gede de de bo. Ma ke ge ge de bo. Li ge de bo si ge de 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 bo. Yes, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Yes, Lord, sing like never before. Just sing the song. Bless his holy name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can he get it? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can he get it? Yes, Lord. Worship his holy name. Before, yes, Lord. Sing like never before. Yes, Lord. Oh, my soul, worship is only name. One more time, yes, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Yes, Lord.
prayer for you, God. I want to be good. And for those online, yes, Lord. Wherever you are, I'd like for you to keep into this ministry. Those of you online, amen. Those in the sanctuary, please, you know what to do. Those online, I'd like for you to go to the website, www.lorwc.org. Or you go to www.johnbassey.org. J O H N B A S S E Y.org. I want you to be a blessing to this ministry. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
I surrender all to you. Maybe get him off. Maybe, maybe, you know, you know that, you know, you, your walk with God is not as it should be. Your walk with God is not as it should be. And you're like a pastor. I want to start afresh with God. Now, hey, you know, you, you said, Apostle, I want to start afresh with God. Apostle, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? If you are here, I want to do that with you. Praise God. And if you're watching online and, and you, you're like, you know that you're not where you ought to be. You're not where you're supposed to be. And you want to start now with God. You want the Spirit of God to saturate your heart. Praise God. You want to start a new walk with God. You're like, Apostle, just pray for me. I, I like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for you. Yes, Lord. 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 I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Yes, Lord. I surrender all.
your chest. Place your right hand on your chest. Those watching online, those in the sanctuary, you want to start a new walk with God? Not like a pastor, pray for me. Put your right hand on your chest. And say this with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I receive you into my life. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my salvation. Today, I confess you once again as my Lord and Savior. Send me your Holy Spirit to lead and guide me in all my ways. Protect my life from evil. Preserve my life, oh God, for you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you say that, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. And for those online from different parts of the world, you can find a local church, find a church closest to you that preaches using the Bible. Amen. Find a good Bible believing church and be a part of the church. Praise God. For those who care to join us all out all the time, follow our ministry in a short while. I'm going to call on the apostle to give, you know, to give us the announcement. You know, for those who live in the neighborhood of Queens, New York, Amen. Our headquarters church is located in Queens, New York. If you want to be a part of it, then the apostle is going to come forth and give us more information in another meeting or so. Hallelujah. Our God is a faithful God. Get it all, get it all. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Again, do not forget to give for those who have their office and tithe. Amen. Those who do that online, go to www.lorwc.org. Hallelujah. Make sure you support the work. Support the work. Amen. We're moving from nation to nation. We're moving from kingdom to kingdom. The Bible says you suffer, you will suffer no one to do us harm. Sin touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. He said it shall be for kings for our sake. In the name of Jesus.
much because you have faith for God. Thank you, Lord, because with you we can do all things. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful word you have spoken through your son. Oh, we give you all the glory because daddy lives have been changed by this word. And we pray, oh God, that we will not be a prey to the enemy, but instead we are prosperous and we overcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Kayara bo shende ebosa. Nikra ya gade bosa. Diege de brasende ege de bosa. Magade koro mo shekete regado. Riga de brasanda ya gade bosa. Ye gada 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 milosa. Rifra sembro ko shekete gede ge ye bosa gada. Greater is he that is in order in the world. We are more than conquerors. Kayara shakata de ye bosa shekete. God I will bless your name. Oh, we give you all the glory. We glorify your name. Your word is to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow, what a wonderful word. What a wonderful word. What a wonderful word. I'm so excited to be here, and I'm sure you're excited to be here. You see, when they're, in, when they're in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And I'm so excited for what God has used our pastor to speak to us today. And we pray that this word that God has used him to, to, to speak to our life, it will not be for nothing. It will change lives. It will change destinies. Hallelujah. Go and use that word for the glory of the Lord. Don't just hear it and be excited. Take this word, eat it, meditate on it. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate therein day and night. And you shall do according to all that is written therein. Then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have a good success. The word that God has spoken to our apostle is from his word. So I want you to go and meditate on it day and night and do according to all that is, uh, is being spoken through the man of God. And then you shall make your way prosperous and have a good success. Hallelujah. And so before, before we close, I want to remind everyone, for those that are following us online, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for continuing to follow us. Thank you for sharing our, our messages. We are very grateful. Please continue to share, continue to spread the word out because what God is doing in our midst is so powerful and it is not something that only one person should enjoy it. Please continue to share. Amen. For those that are in church, God bless you. Thank you for being part of this great ministry. We pray that God will continue to perfect and glorify His name in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please don't forget to spread the message hallelujah our location even for those online if you want to come and fellowship with us our location is 141-38-224 street hallelujah laurel in queens new york you can get our information from online you can also get it also at the lord our righteousness on facebook hallelujah go and you know spread the word because there is you see the powerful thing is this in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At His right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. When you are in the presence, there's a new dimension that you are not getting when you're online. Hallelujah. So, come and experience God afresh in His presence. You will know what we are talking about. Amen. Hallelujah. Our service is on Sunday. Can you reduce a little bit? Thank you. Our service is on Sunday. We have a service time at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. we are here ready to, to, to experience a new dimension of power of the glory of God in the presence of God. So come and experience God afresh. Amen. On Friday, woo, don't forget the prayer meeting. You see there is power in prayer. We are here today because of prayer and we will never stop because we pray. Hallelujah. So join us as we pray together. We start at 7.30 every Friday. I want you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. 
Don't forget to spread the word. Don't forget to, 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 to be part of what God is doing. Lives are being changed. Destinies are being transformed. Hallelujah. Wow, we are so grateful to God. The Lord bless and keep you. May his face continually shine upon you. And may he be gracious unto you and give you peace on every side. Every aspect of your life will experience perfection in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, everyone. Hallelujah. I'm going to call an apostle as we close. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Because we can stay here all night because of your sweet presence. Thank you, Lord, because of your sweet presence. Thank you for your people whom you have grace to be here today. Thank you for each and every one of us. Thank you for those online who are blessings to this ministry. Those who continue to pray for this ministry. Those who continue to partner with this ministry in their own way. Bless them in return, O God. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Lord come down from heaven let it come down and do for us what only he can do for us in the name of Jesus God is touching someone right now God is touching someone right now there's someone, there's someone who's going to feel something in their body right now. You're going to feel some, some, you know, something like, like fire in your body. That's the Spirit of God visiting you. That's the Spirit of God visiting you. You're going to feel something that you've never felt before. It's happening right now, right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your blessing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. As you go to bed tonight, a revelation shall come to you. Yes, Lord. A revelation shall come to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God, for that word. Glory to your name. Thank you because, Lord, you lift up your countenance upon us and for giving us your peace. In the name of the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Come to your neighbor and say, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for those who are watching online. This is why we're watching in Jesus' name. Amen.